All right, let's talk about sh shading our skull a little bit. And again, we have our same shapes again. We have a sphere here. We also have some spheres along here. Uh, the nose jets out just a little bit. We have the jawbone kind of set back. So we're going to think about the light source coming in over here. Um, and keeping this nice and light value and getting darker over on, on the opposite side. So I'm going to start by adding my darkest values. That's really how I like to start when I'm adding value. So I'm starting down here. This is going to be very dark as well because it's actually set back a little bit from the skull. We have our dark values on the bottom half of the cheekbones, and that's for both of them. And then we go to kind of our medium values. As I mentioned, the nose jets out just a little bit, so we'll probably have some medium values going on here. Medium values. The value from our overall skull is going to be medium. And you're going to notice me going many different directions here with my value. I'm cross-hatching again, but I'm thinking about the shape that I'm creating or the form that I'm creating and curving my lines to fit that. That's going to be for everything. The cheekbones. This half of the face is kind of a medium uh, value. And then we're going to go in to the eye sockets and the nose cavity and create a very dark value. These spaces are actually dark because they go into the bones or you know you don't have anything behind there that it's a hollow space behind so you're just showing that there's nothing back there by creating a dark value. We'll do that for the nose, the eye sockets and actually behind the teeth too. Behind the jawbone I might come around a little further to add a little bit more medium value. But overall, you want to see your darks, your mediums, and your lights when you're shading on your skull.